welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial I did a very maroon smoky eye with glittered pink liner yeah I said that mm -hmm. okay girl oh god so this look is very playful and very girly to me and I really loved how this look turned out it's like my new favorite look that I've created so far so if you want to see how I got this look then please continue to watch Going into my eyes now, I'm taking my Hard Candy Glam Flush Heavy Duty Concealer to prime and to conceal the eyelids. I kind of already, I kind of also take this concealer underneath the eyebrows, so it's a lot easier for me to fill them in later and that I don't have to go in and conceal them later on as well too. But you all know I love this concealer. I use it in like every single tutorial. So yeah. So now I'm going to take my Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm going to take the shade right here called Tempra. I'm going to use this shade to set my eyelids for the concealer and to help with the blending and the pigmentation of the eyeshadows later on. Now I'm going to go back into the Anastasia Palette and I'm going to pick up the shade Warm Taupe right here. I'm going to use this shade as my crease color or my transition color. So now I'm gonna go into my Lorac Pro Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm gonna take the shade right here. This is called, no, not that shade, sorry. I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is burgundy. And I'm going to focus this on the outer V and into the crease. I'm in and out of like my normal brush with the burgundy shade on. It's and my blending brush because with these with the darker shades like this and this shade is super pigmented you have to be careful I always go in with a little bit and then blend it out and go in with a little bit more because I would rather start out less because it's always easier to pack it onto my eyelid than to wipe it away yes. and yes I'm going with a different shape with my eyes today too. I'm not doing my traditional like winged look. I'm keeping it more rounded. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna, I want to go in with red orc shirt and a little bit of velveteen red because I want to add a I don't know, I, it's just missing something. It looks too purple to me. So I'm gonna add these two and see what I can mix up. <laughs> lightened it up a little bit and made it a little bit more pink put some more pink back into it so now I'm gonna go in with my lid shade so my for my lid shade I'm gonna do a more of a bronzier lid so I'm gonna take antique bronze which is more of a bronze but it has like that hint of pink slash purple into it I'm gonna go back in with a crease brush just to blend everything back in together so now I'm gonna go in and do my liner but I'm not doing a black liner today I'm taking my Maybelline color tattoo eye chrome this is in gilded rose and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner so this is the first time I'm ever doing this technique that's not actually using a liner that says liquid eyeliner gel eyeliner you know what I'm saying so We'll see how it turns out and it's not your black as you can tell so we shall see we shall see mascara I'm taking my wet n wild mega length mascara am I the only one that's like digging the my winged eyeliner today for lashes I'm taking the Ilore X crazy Ray Ray vlogger style false lashes these are in hashtag crazy glam and they are glam I'm gonna go into the face so I'm gonna start with primer I'm taking my Maybelline master prime in redness plus blur And go into foundation. I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Go, Pro Go, Pro Glow, and this is in the shade 208 Sun Beige. So now I'm 
gonna go ahead and do concealer. I'm taking my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in 125 Fair. Concealer going into my Wet n Wild Color Con Contouring Palette and Caramel Toffee, and I'm taking the highlighting shade right here to set everything in. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows before I get into the rest of my eyes. So, so fin to finish up with my eyes, I'm taking my The Color Workshop eye pencil in a white. Yes, boo. <laughs> I'm going back into the Lorac palette and picking up the same ugh, burgundy shade. And I'm going to tightly place this on my lower lash line. I'm going to say, take the same Wet n Wild mascara and put this on my lower lashes. Now for bronzer, I'm taking my Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in medium to dark. I'm taking my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. This is in Heather Silk. It's this nice, pretty mauve tone. I'm going to take a highlighter now. This one's kind of broken, so I'm kind of going to hold it a little awkward. This is the Wet n Wild. I'm using a bunch of Wet n Wild products today. Hmm. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection Highlighter in Rose Champagne Glow. For lips, I'm taking my Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lip in Nude Thrill. For this video, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you want to say hey, what's up, or just have any type of suggestions. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you beautiful, beautiful people in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.